there for Rondell Sheridan. mother mother's day car <laughs> woman brought you in the world you forget oh no you go, you go run out get your mother a car that's cool nowadays they make ethnic mother's day cards with black people on the cover <laughs> i'm very proud of that but you realize with a lot of you waiting to the last minute to buy your mother a mother's day card <laughs> these are the only cards available Mother's Day car with a 180 pound black woman on the cover. <laughs> the mother's looking at the car going, and who the hell is this supposed to be? <laughs> you got there late, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did, Mom. I'm sorry. It was either that or the Asian woman. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm on the plane. I'm on the plane. I'm sitting down. I'm in the emergency aisle and exit, and I didn't notice this. When the stewardess comes walking them, she looks at me, she goes, oh, you're okay. And I go, what are you talking about? I didn't know that there's certain people who cannot st sit in the emergency exit. Handicapped people cannot be there. Children under 12 cannot be there. Uh, they also have obese people can't be there. Who decides this? <laughs> who decides if you're obese? It's bad enough you're carrying an extra couple of pounds. <laughs> you don't need somebody stamping that on your boarding pass, do you? <laughs> oh, no. Four, five, and six. I'm a beast. And then they also have people who cannot speak English cannot sit in the emergency exit, which yeah. makes a lot of sense because you don't want your plane to crash and you're sitting there going, Open the door! Open the door! couple sitting in front of me she's got a nickname for a boyfriend guys you know the unwritten man law your woman gave you a nickname do not tell your male friends what this nickname is because it, generally it's the biggest goofy name in the world i remember when i was in college my roommate's girlfriend came by and she slipped she came in the room she said it's pookie butt i mean keith here are we all with pookie butt not here right now, but if we see Poogie Butt, we will tell Poogie Butt you came by. So many goofy things when you're in love, man. They got things, they got the worst thing for guys who have no luck. You know those commercials late at night, those love commercials for the loser guys, you know? You sit at home, some woman comes on, hi. <sighs> Are you lonely? <laughs> right, you're sitting there going, uh-huh. <laughs> Men and women look at being in love entirely differently. Women look at being in love sort of like being in a warm bath. You're surrounded by warmth, you feel very comfortable. Men look at being in love sort of like they stepped in something. <laughs> Walking down the street, la la la. Oh man, I'm in love, man. And your friends are no good. Your friends are going, Bubba, you got love on you. Get it off, man. Get it off. Get it. I'm in love. I'm in love. Next thing you know, you're at a mall holding a purse. at the most inopportune time. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. You went to God doing guy things. For some reason, guy things involve alcohol and weapons. Am I right? You went to guys doing guy things out of nowhere. The woman you're in love with the 
just stand there going, Bill, Bill, love you. You try to ignore it, but you can't because your idiot buddies are sitting there going, love you. from my dad. My father had the sickest sense of humor in the world. When I was a kid, he used to teach me this game, this game called Let's See Who Can Hit the Softest. <laughs> you don't know this game? The object of the game is to hit the other person softer than they hit you. People who know this game know you can only be taught it one time. <laughs> my dad would go, you go first. So I tell my dad really, really soft. Your turn, Dad. <laughs> my father walking to me and go, wham! You win. <laughs> Knucklehead. <laughs> so I go show the game to my mom. Ma, 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 ma. Remember when you were a kid, you could say ma a million times? They just flick a switch, all they see is. <laughs> After a half an hour of this, but the proper response by any mother is, what? <laughs> and then you forget. You go first, okay? <laughs> My mother walked up to me and went, Wham! <laughs> you an idiot! <laughs> I showed your father that game! <laughs> Thank you! Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> There's certain people who cannot stay, sit in the emergency exit. Handicapped people cannot be there. Children under 12 cannot be there. Uh, they also have obese people can't be there. Who decides this? <laughs> Who decides if you're obese? It's bad enough you're carrying an extra couple of pounds. <laughs> you don't need somebody stamping that on your boarding pass, do you? <laughs> oh, no, everyone knows now. <laughs> Hi, you'll be sitting in aisle four, five, and six. cannot speak English, cannot sit in the emergency act, which makes a lot of sense because you don't want your plane to crash and you're sitting there going, open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Apple juice! Apple juice! lovey-dovey couple sitting in front of me. She's got a nickname for a boyfriend. Guys, you know the unwritten man law. Your woman gave you a nickname. Do not tell your male friends what this nickname is. Because it, generally it's the biggest goofy name in the world. I remember when I was in college my roommate's girlfriend came by and she slipped. She came in the room and she said, is Pookie Butt? I mean Keith here? And we all went, Pookie Butt? Pookie Butt's not here right now, but if we see Pookie Butt, we will tell Pookie Butt you came by. So many goofy things when you're in love, man. They got things, they got the worst thing for guys who have no luck. You know those commercials late at night, those love commercials for the loser guys, you know? You sit at home, some woman comes on, hi. <sighs> Are you lonely? Right, you're sitting there going, uh-huh. <laughs> Men and women look at being in love and darling, 
differently. Women look at being in love sort of like being in a warm bath. You're surrounded by warmth. You feel very comfortable. Men look at being in love sort of like they stepped in something. Because men just fall in love. We have no idea. You're just walking down the street. La, la, la. Oh, man. I'm in love, man. And your friends are no good. Your friends are going, Bubba, you got love on you. Get it off, man. Get it off. Get it. I'm in love. I'm in love. Next thing you know, I'm good at you. lovey-dovey couple sitting in front of me. She's got a nickname for a boyfriend. Guys, you know the unwritten man law. Your woman gave you a nickname. Do not tell your male friends what this nickname is. Because it, generally it's the biggest goofy name in the world. I remember when I was in college my roommate's girlfriend came by and she slipped. She came in the room and she said, is Pookie Butt? I mean Keith here? And we all went, Pookie Butt? Pookie Butt's not here right now, but if we see Pookie Butt, we will tell Pookie Butt you came by. So many goofy things when you're in love, man. They got things, they got the worst thing for guys who have no luck. You know those commercials late at night, those love commercials for the loser guys, you know? You sitting at home, some woman comes on, hi. Are you lonely? Right, you're sitting there going, uh-huh. <laughs> Men and women look at being in love entirely differently. Women look at being in love sort of like being in a warm bath. You're surrounded by warmth, you feel very comfortable. Men look at being in love sort of like they stepped in something. <laughs> Cause men just fall in love. We have no idea, you just walking down the street, la la la. Oh, man, I'm in love, man. And your friends are no good. Your friends are going, Bubba, you got love on you. Get it off, man, get it off. Get it. I'm in love, I'm in love. Next thing you know, you're at a mall holding a purse. at the most inopportune time. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. You went to God doing guy things. For some reason, guy things involve alcohol and weapons. Am I right? You went to guys doing guy things out of nowhere. The woman you're in love with is standing there going, Bill, Bill, love you. You try to ignore it, but you can't because your idiot buddies are sitting there going, Love you! Love you! You little buttonhead, you! I had a goofy childhood. I get all my stuff from my dad. My 